okay hello students so in this lecture we will discuss uh, the topic high capacitance node i am taking the theoretical explanation of high capacitance node from uh, rabe book okay so uh, before starting uh, before starting this topic first we have to know that what is the mean of high capacitance node high capacitance node is also known as floating node high capacitance node is also known as floating node now what is the mean of floating node floating node is that uh, whose uh, there is no connection between any other nodes we can understand the floating node by by taking this example here i am taking a inverter circuitry this one is the inverter circuitry here uh, the upper network is known as upper pull up network is known as uh, pmos and the lower pull down node network is the nmos and we know that when we are pr pr providing input as zero and that uh, input is uh, uh, that input is less than the threshold voltage of pmos so at that time this pmos works pmos works means pmos make a short circuit path so when pmos ma makes a short circuit path so definitely there will be a current flow from this end to this node okay same as when we provide a uh, input as one so at that time this nmos works okay so when nmos works so uh, definitely this uh, output capacitance uh, the output output capacitance uh, will be discharging from this path now this one this capacitance that is connected in the output side that is source to source connection between pmos and nmos this one is the source of pmos this one is the source of nmos uh, we always take output from the source to source connection between pmos and nmos so this uh, connection this joint is mentioned as node and uh, uh, for taking the output from this node we always take any load uh, we always take any load component here i am taking here i am um, assuming this load component as a capacitance and its capacitance will be cl okay okay so this this node here if i consider this node as x so similarly this node will be x and the voltage uh, that produces with uh, respect to this capacitance i am expressing it as vx now this vx voltage uh, is stored by by this capacitance okay now we know that in the cmos case we know that in the cmos case there will be a connection between there will be a joint connection between pmos and nmos okay but here but here i am not taking its joint to uh, uh, to expressing the uh, to expressing what is the floating node okay suppose i am taking uh, i am taking a input as one in the pmos and here i am taking an input as zero okay so uh, when we are taking a uh, input as one here input as zero here so we know that pmos works as a open circuited and this nmos also works as a open circuited it means that when this one is open circuited this one is open circuited it means that this uh, circuit will look like this circuit will look like this one this one is the ground this one is the vdd and uh, uh, this one is the ground this one is the vdd and here this this one is the x here the capacitance is connected over here and this connect uh, load capacitance will be express uh, represented as cl okay so if uh, this pmos is open circuited this nmos is open circuited it means that it means that this node is open it means that this node is open this x node is open now this x node is open now if this one is the open circuited this nmos is the open circuited it means that there is no connection between supply with this node okay so at that time this node will be in the floating stage why we are calling it 
as a floating stage because there is no connection between uh, uh, no connection of this node with any other node so if there is no connection between this node with any uh, other node in the network so at that time this node is known as floating uh, at that time this node is known as floating node okay at that time this node is known as floating node okay or this floating node is known also known as high capacitive high capacitance node this node is also known as high capacitance node Okay. Why it is known as high capacitance node? Because the driver that is connected here, this one uh, here, this PMOS is uh, is the driver in this case. If this PMOS is of open circuited, it means that its impedance is high. That's why we consider it as open circuited. So because of this high impedance uh, driver, we call this node as high impedance or floating node. Okay, so we know that when uh, when uh, when the, in any circuit, if the floating node exists, so definitely if floating node exists, so definitely because of this because of uh, this floating node, because of this floating node, because of this floating node, uh, the because of this floating node, the uh, st uh, the static power dissipation will be there. Okay, so uh, so how to eliminate this? How to eliminate this condition? How to eliminate this condition? To eliminate this condition, to eliminate this condition, we can use uh, we can use two different methods. One is we can use uh, we can use the uh, data activity, or we can say we can use the switching activity. Switching activity we uh, already represented. It has uh, it in our previous lecture that uh, if we consider the power dissipation as P, so P equals to alpha into F into uh, VDD square. So uh, in that place, alpha is the switching activity. Okay. So by controlling the switching activity, or we can say by reducing the switching activity, we can control this high capacitance node. Or or the second uh, the second method is uh, by by controlling the switching by controlling the swing voltage okay so by uh, by using these two method by controlling the uh, switching factor or by con uh, by reducing the uh, voltage swing we can uh, we can reduce the uh, we can reduce this problem of uh, static power dissipation due to high capacitance node okay so uh, the uh, the uh, the first approach that is by using the switching factor alpha we can't use here because the we can control the switching factor by using the architect we can by, uh, control the switching factor by can you by using the algorithm okay so if you want to uh, if you want to reduce uh, if you want to control this switching uh, high capacitance no node so we can use the second method that is voltage swing reduction okay the, this all part is mentioned here this all part is mentioned here okay so uh, we need we need to uh, we need to minimize the swing voltage okay so to minimize the swing voltage to minimize the swing voltage we can use two different methods one is we can use the drivers for large load large loads and the second one is second one is the low voltage swing low voltage swing network forms it means that we can control this swing voltage by using this driver for large road or by using some extra by using the external by using the uh, by using the connection of some external network we can we can minimize the swing voltage okay now drivers for the drivers for large loads So here, here I am taking an example. Here I am taking an example of clock network. This one is the example of clock network. This clock network is formed by using a driver chain. This clock network is formed by driver chain. It means that various uh, inverters are connected to uh, to frame the driving uh, clock network. 
and this clock di uh, driving is important uh, uh, this clock di uh, driving is important uh, for the high capacitance node and also with respect to uh, power consumption because the clock driving uh, clock driving uh, is very essential uh, is, is a very essential parameter because um, because uh, the clock po uh, power will be the uh, the clock power is 20 to 40 percent of total chip power okay here one method is uh, given here here one method is given here various uh, here we connect our uh, various uh, inverters and make a tapered inverter chain tapered inverter chain here i am making a tapered inverter chain and uh, the 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 overall the overall the uh, overall the load capacitance is represented at cl and uh, total n numbers of uh, inverters are connected here n numbers of inverters are connected here and the tampering factors are f and this f is um, there is some uh, there is some relation between f and load capacitance that is f is represented here f raised to power n what is n f, n is the number of inverters that is connected over here so f raised to power n equals to cl divided by 2 raised to power ci what is ci ci is the input capacitance what is cl cl is the load capacitance or output capacitance okay so for such a it is shown uh, it is shown that there exists an optimum value for f for which the total delay is of the chain is minimum okay so by controlling this factor of f how can we decide this optimum value of f we decide this optimum value of f by cons by um, by checking the by checking the total delay of the chain if the total delay of the chain is minimum at that time if we found the total delay of chain is minimum for any value of f so that value of f is the optimum value okay so generally when the input capacitance equal to output capacitance at that time we got the we, we get the uh, optimum value of f okay it is already represented here when c naught equals to c n uh, so at that time we um, at that time we will get the optimum value of f okay some numerical relation between the driver capacitance uh, is represented here this one is the first equation this one is the first equation that represent the total switching capacitance of the chain the total switching uh, the total switched capacitance of the chain is represented by using the this mathematical equation here f is the uh, here um, f is the tampering factor ta uh, tapering factor and n is the uh, total number of uh, inverter that is connected over here ci is the input capacitance and c node c0 or we can say cl generally cl uh, we can say cl is the load capacitance and c node is the output capacitance okay generally uh, we consider c naught equals to cl okay one more equation one more equation is represented here here uh, we uh, we are taking the ratio of c driver with the load capacitance and we make a equation so uh, by using the two equation by using the two equ equation we can decide that we can decide the how many drivers are connected here to control the value of load capacitance okay so by using this we can we can minimize the swing voltage by using the by using by uh, by connecting all these inverters we can control the we can control the switching delay we can control the delay and we know that when we control the delay so automatically so we know that when we control the delay what is uh, what delay um, uh, delay is nothing but this delay is nothing but a uh, rise time and fall time when we uh, when we are controlling the rise time and fall time so automatically um, automatically we can control the we can control this swing voltage okay so uh, this one is the this one is the first uh, way to reduce the to reduce the swing voltage now the second one is the low voltage swing you can uh, you can read the theoretical part you can read the theoretical part of this driver for load you can take a screenshot of this uh, you can take a screenshot and make your separate notes
now the second way now the second way is low voltage swing here uh, here in the second part we uh, here the second part it is represented that uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can um, we can change this we can change the circuit we can change the circuit or we can say uh, we can add on several uh, several network with the circuit to minimize the load voltage to minimize the swing voltage here some here some uh, here some circuit is given here some circuit is given such as this one is the circuit this one is the circuit this one is one another circuit this one is another circuit here all the mod modification here uh, in each network some modification will be there and why why we done this all modification the main purpose is common in all these network to control the uh, swing voltage okay swing voltage uh, you can cons uh, you can um, assume swing voltage as uh, you can assume swing voltage means charging and discharging voltage or you can say peak to peak voltage okay so uh, we know that in cmos uh, the this uh, this potential this potential will be zero but uh, in the if we done some modification in the circuitry and consider the the this ground uh, voltage as some special uh, some another voltage as vsl so this one is one modification through which we can we can reduce the swing voltage here in the here you can see here you can say uh, here the circuit is made by using the nmos circuitry only Okay, here you can see the uh, the circuitry is the circuitry is made by NMOS only NMOS and this one is the resistor. Here you can see some uh, extra bypass uh, some extra bias and uh, some extra bias circuitry is mentioned here. Okay, why we use this bias circuitry? This bias circuitry is responsible to generate some threshold voltage. Okay, so when we generate a threshold voltage of we when we generate a, thres, a separate threshold voltage of PMOS, separate separate threshold voltage of NMOS. So overall, so overall, overall swing voltage will reduce from VDD minus two VT. One VT is for for uh, PMOS and one VT is for NMOS. Okay, so by using this network, we can we can reduce the we can uh, we can minimize the swing voltage. Same as one and one other clock gating circuitry. So these are the these are some example of clock gating circuit. These are some example of clocking network or we can say uh, the circuitry that is used to minimize the swing voltage. So by using this all, by using this all, we can uh, we can control the we can control the static power dissipation. We can control the uh, uh, high capacitance node. Okay, or we can say uh, we can control the floating node. Okay, so uh, this all part is represented here. I am maximizing the screen. I am maximizing the screen, and uh, you all can take a screenshot for your theoretical purpose. Okay. Okay, this is all related to high capacitance node. So in next lecture, we will discuss some another talk, topic. Probably we will discuss the uh, low uh, power digital cell library. Okay, thank you so much.